Melanie Chargaloff has been racing for over a year and started her elite career in 2015. She has placed in the top 10 or higher at every race that she has competed in this year, including a first place win at Gladiator Rock and Run and a third place win at Rugged Maniac. Also placing fourth in a 60K trail series called Captain Carl's. She is very passionate about obstacle course racing and enjoying the time out on the courses while competing alongside her sisters and daughter. I started at the beginning of 2014. Uh, that was my first race, and it was Warrior Dash, I believe. And um, I actually did it with a bunch of family members and who are also Guamanian. And um, that's when I really um, started falling in love with the sport just because of the community and how everybody is together. And uh, I grew up on the mainland, but... Uh, I feel like representing uh, representing Guam will bring me closer to my heritage, and so you know I don't forget where I came from. Everybody automatically knows that I'm not from here because of my last name Chargla, and they're always asking me if I'm Filipino or Hawaiian. I'm like, no, I'm from Guam. Melanie hopes to inspire people to follow their dreams, no matter how hard they are to achieve. Chargaloff is currently on two pro teams, W O R and M O F. She is also an ambassador for Coco Go, Aurelive, Highlight, and Honey Stingers. Melanie has several races lined up for the rest of the year and hopes to come back home to compete in the near future. I got onto the pro team because when I started, I wasn't thinking of becoming an elite or anything. I just absolutely love racing, and I'm really competitive. And so um, they just saw how how much heart I had when I raced, and, you know, they decided they wanted to pick me up on their pro teams, and after that, that's when I started to run elite, um, and I absolutely love it. It's, it's a really great feeling, because um, I've got so many supporters that, uh, tons of people that I don't even know, but they follow me on Facebook, or they see, you know, the races I've been winning, and coming in top 10, uh, in every race that I've done this year. It's really putting my name out there. Let's get right into your Monday Night Football highlights. The Giants inside the red zone. Eli Manning with the touchdown pass to Odell Beckham Jr. Manning with 189 yards passing with two interceptions. Beckham with seven receptions for 61 yards. Sam Bradford threw for 280 yards on 24 of 38 pass attempts. He also threw three interceptions. Riley Cooper on the receiving end of this touchdown. Cooper led the Eagles in receiving with 76 yards on three receptions. Running back DeMarco Murray finished the game with 22 carries for 109 yards and one touchdown. Murray pulled in three passes for 14 yards as the Eagles went on to beat the Giants at home 27-7 to go to 500 on the year at 3-3. The loss drops the Giants to 3-3 as well.